The incredible success of shows such as My 600 Pound Life and 1000 Pound Sisters, coupled with the worrying obesity epidemic in the U.S., have made Vanessa Cross and other reality TV participants minor celebrities. When viewers met Vanessa in season one of 1000 Pound Best Friends, she weighed a staggering 442 pounds, about 200 kilograms, but it rarely, if ever, considered her vast size an issue. I still drove, I still walked around, so my mentality was, I'm fine, I'm perfect the way I am, I could still do things. The 44-year-old explained in an interview, as her quality of life hadn't drastically changed yet, Vanessa never thought of slimming down until her best friend and co-star, Megan Crumpler, went on her own weight loss journey. When Vanessa witnessed the health benefits in Megan's life, she was inspired to go down the same path and began preparing for bariatric surgery by cutting bread, sugar, and soda out of her diet. Next, she began going to therapy to work on her toxic relationship with food. I opened my mind to try to understand what in my brain is making me want to stay fat and stay helpless. She admitted, Why do I have to eat three cheeseburgers and two fries services instead of one cheeseburger like a normal person? Prior to surgery, Vanessa had already lost almost 50 pounds, or 23 kilograms, on her own. The day of her weight loss surgery, she weighed 398 pounds and went on to lose 159 more, about 70 kilograms. Following her surgery, Vanessa had implemented plenty of changes into her diet and lifestyle, swapping fried food with fruits and vegan smoothies, and learning how to make healthy recipes with her children. In the past, Vanessa ate for comfort and pleasure. Now, however, she goes to the gym or on long walks whenever she's struck by a sudden craving. I get my joy, my comfort, my anxiety levels down, everything from pushing myself more and more in the gym, she said. However, it took Vanessa a while to get where she is today. The first time she saw Dr. Proctor, she weighed 446 pounds, then lost 20 pounds between appointments. Encouraged by her progress, Dr. Proctor set Vanessa a goal weight of under 400 pounds to qualify for surgery. Six months later, Vanessa weighed 442 pounds at the follow-up appointment, and so was discouraged. Nevertheless, the TV personality was inspired to try harder, and her efforts paid off. From celebrating being able to wear a seatbelt again to regaining her confidence and spark, Vanessa had proved herself to be a positive role model with every step she takes in this challenging but rewarding journey. Throughout her adult life, the Georgia native weighed around 350 pounds. Her weight began fluctuating in 2016 after the death of her husband as her life spiraled out of control. For the next few years, her weight often fluctuated up to 500 pounds as she used food to feel better about herself. Viewers of 1,000 Pound Best Friends are thrilled to see the positive change in Vanessa and how she's acting as a positive role model for her children. Meanwhile, Megan Crumpler's journey hasn't been going so smoothly. At the start of the season one, Megan weighed approximately 500 pounds, about 230 kilograms, and had difficulty moving around doing everyday tasks, so much that she relied on her husband for almost everything and required oxygen to breathe. Although Vanessa has been giving interviews and keeping fans posted with her exact weight so they can see her progress, Megan has shied away from doing the same. It's undeniable that she's lost weight since filming began, but her recent actions have led to netizens thinking that she's not as committed to changing her life as her best friend is. I started watching beginning of season one and I had Megan's number right away. A Reddit user said on the show's official forum, she wants to benefit from all of the free and premium nice medical treatment and rehab while drinking and not dealing properly with her health issues, while having already had the surgery and should be benefiting from it. The fact she has stayed this large is a medical miracle. In one of the latest episodes of season two, Megan was also seen screaming at Vanessa, having one of her frequent meltdowns. The TV personality has recently been accused of disrespecting Dr. Proctor by addressing him by his surname instead of his title, with some netizens, even claiming that she is sexually suggestive towards him during their appointments. Fans of the show are of the opinion that Megan, who is going through financial hardship, is irresponsible with her money after spending her savings on a fancy wedding and having to move in with her friend Tina Arnold and her husband. Megan has taken to selling her secondhand clothes, body care products, and other random objects in an attempt to scrape some extra cash together, which has led to speculation regarding how much she and Vanessa are paid per episode. 
Not much is known about Megan's friend Tina, but the Reddit subforum r 1000 pound best friends refers to the latter as a grifter after she started a GoFundMe campaign for her disabled daughter's apartment, then allegedly turned said apartment into a gym for herself and Megan. Tina, who is also trying to lose weight, often features in the show and dramatically kicked Megan out in one episode after a heated argument. However, the women are believed to be on good terms again, as Megan is apparently still living with her and her husband. There's also the possibility that the show contains scripted screens, as viewers find it hard to believe that Megan and her husband celebrated their honeymoon in Tina's bedroom. Whatever the case, Megan's weight loss appears to have stalled dramatically in the last few months and her living situation is clearly an unstable one. For now, TLC has yet to confirm if there'll be a third season of 1,000 Pound Best Friends. The season two premiere took place in early March 2023 and was viewed in around 500,000 households. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.